I'm Air Force Master Sergeant Mike Skaggs, and I'm a certified fitness instructor. And we're here to get you fit for duty! A show by the military, for the military, and for anyone else who wants a hardcore workout. Prepare to sweat. On today's show, grab your band, your step, and get ready for a full body workout. It's going to be circuit training, which is strength and cardio. Welcome to today's show. I hope you got your band and your step and you're ready for a great workout. Before we get started, I'd like to thank my fitness team from the Air Force Honor Guard. Aaron, Jonathan, we're ready to rock this workout out. I hope you are at home. You guys ready for this? All right, drop those bands and let's just go into a nice jog. I'm going to explain to you today's workout while we move. This is going to be circuit training, interval training, whatever you want to call it. It's going to be in a minute of strength training, followed by a minute of cardio, followed again by a minute of strength, back to cardio, and back and forth until we're done. And we're going to shoot through this workout. You're not going to know what hit you. Your muscles are going to be confused. Everything's going to be working, and you're going to get a great workout. So you guys are going to get ready for this? All right. We're going to jog it out like this for another 15 seconds. Then we're going to go into some push-ups for our chest. We'll do some offset push-ups on the bench. That's where one hand's going to be on the bench, one's going to be on the floor. Attack that chest from different angles to give it the optimum workout. Get ready in three, two, one, on the floor for those push-ups. All right, around the front of the bench, and let's just go. Now I'm going to check their form. I'm going to cue you verbally at home, so keep going. Here's what we want. Nice flat back, head and neck stay neutral. Things looking good here. Straight up and down. Notice the offset position of the hands. On, one's on the bench, one's on the floor. Really working that pectoralis region. Let's switch sides of the bench now because we've been at it for 30 seconds. Let's just keep it going. Right across your bench, right into that push-up position. Things are looking great. Hang in there a minute. Doesn't seem like a long time, but it feels like a long time, right guys? We're ready to quit. We got 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. On your feet. And let's just jump up on that bench. Come on. The jog. Now, if you don't have this at home, you can use your stairs. Or if this is too intense for you, just step up. The key to this routine is constant movement. That's what you want. That's what makes it most effective. So. We're airmen, we're warriors, we're going all out. If you can't keep up at home, do the modified version. We got 30 more seconds just like this. Heart rate's really getting up there. We jumped right into this workout. Come on, another 15 seconds. Don't quit, I can see the quit in your eyes. You don't see it in these guys, do you? Come on, no quit. Coming out of this, we're gonna do some back exercises. Three, two, one. Get that band, hold it right above your head, nice close grip, and just pull it down across your chest. It's like a lat pull, except with these bands. Now I'm gonna do the instructor set, and I'm gonna check Aaron and Jonathan's form. Check your form at home. Right across. The front, you want to feel a nice pull right here. Lats are a large muscle group, one of the largest in our body. Nice kite shape in the back. That's what we're targeting. Pull right down across. Good. You've got 20 more seconds just like this. We want to really tire that muscle out. Come on, 15 more seconds. We're gonna come out of this, right into our cardio. We're gonna hop up on that step and hop down. Some explosive movements, keep it up for five, four, three, two, one. Lats ready to quit, come on, hop up, hop down. Hop up, hop down, hop up, hop down. Good, just like that. I'm gonna check their form, because this is key to do this. And again, let me show you a modification. Step up, if you can't keep up with the hopping, step up, we're warriors here. See how they're coming up in the middle of the bench? That's what you want. Nice, firm, solid landing. Keep it up. Great cardio exercise here. 
This is explosive jump movements. Great. It's called plyometrics. Explosive jump training. Good form of exercise. We got 20 more seconds. We're coming out. Going in. To some bicep work. Three, two, one, drop it. All right, grab those bands, step right in the middle with either one foot or two foot, and curl it up. Elbows stay nice and tight. Hands go into supine position. Elbows don't go above 90 degrees. Really work out those biceps, catch your breath from that cardio segment. I'm gonna check form. Jonathan here, great form, head and neck is neutral, elbows are locked, Aaron's the same. If you guys keep it up, you're gonna look like this, and then you're gonna owe me a lot of money. Doing great. You got about 20 more seconds here. Really get those biceps nice and burning. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, drop it. Straddle that step, hop up in the middle. Make sure you straddle right up in the center. Really working those calves, quads, but mostly our heart. Good cardio segment. I'm gonna check their form. You keep going at home. Notice how they're coming right up in the middle of the bench. Nice, nice. Keep it up, 20 more seconds. Always make sure you're nice and secure in the middle of that bench. If you don't have the bench, just hop out and hop in. Three, two, one, relax, grab those bands. Gonna bend it forward, and we're gonna do some kickbacks. Just like this. I'm gonna check their form in just a second. This is what it should look like. Single joint movement. Only thing moving is that elbow. Keep it up, look at the form here. Perfect, perfect form. These guys are professionals. You are at home. Keep it up for another 30 seconds. Really firm, feel the burn on those triceps. Good. Now coming out of this one, we'll go right into another cardio segment. Heart rate's really up. Things are moving quick and we are doing great. Keep it up at home. No need to quit. Three, two, one, drop that band. I want you to lay it beside of you and hop over it. Make a line, hop over it like you're jumping rope. Again, a little bit of jump training here. Very good for the ankles, calves, quads, but mostly it's for our heart. Doing strength training, cardio training, all at once here today. Things feel good, right? We feeling good so far, guys? All right, they're sweating, I'm sweating, you're sweating, we're all doing great. Come on, 15 more seconds. Guess what's coming up next? Can you guys guess? Shoulders. They don't know, you don't <laughs> follow me. Do shoulders, we've did biceps, triceps, chest, back, gotta work those shoulders. Good. Three, two, one, grab those bands. One foot or two, foot in, two feet in. And just raise it up into a lateral raise. I'm gonna check their form, make sure it's right. It's very key with these exercises here to ensure you got good form. Notice how his arms are nice and straight, but he's got a slight bend in that elbow. That's what you want at home. Don't go above shoulder level here and that's the best form for you. It keeps all the attention on that medial deltoid. 
which is the muscle group we're focused on. Come on, you got 30 more seconds here. Ten more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Back to running in place. Come on, nice fast chop. We're headed into the break. Keep your cardio up at home. If you need to get a quick drink, do so. We come back. More cardio, more strength. Workout will be done. You're free for the rest of the day. Keep it up. All right, welcome back from the break. Keep that cardio up for about another 20 seconds. We're still at it here. I don't know what you did while you were away, but you need to get warmed back up. So get that cardio in. Come on, you got 15 more seconds. We're doing a quick run in place right here. We're gonna come out of this and into some lower body exercises for our legs. Not gonna use the band. We're gonna use the bench to do some offset squats. Three, two, one. All right, listen up. I want you off the side of that bench. Just squat it down. Nice deep squats, one leg up, one leg down. I'm gonna check their form. You keep going at home. Notice how this head and neck stay neutral, very key. All the emphasis is focused on that quad. Keep it up. We're gonna switch sides in five seconds. Now this really stinks, we're gonna come out of this, we're gonna do cardio. Legs are really gonna be tired, let's switch sides. You guys are gonna love me for this, come on. 30 more seconds here. We even have time for some more push-ups probably. I know I heard these guys talking over the break between me and you. They want to do some more. Keep it up for 10 more seconds. Three, two, one, over, and let's just hop. Hop in place. Great exercise, stay on those toes. You can make like you're jumping rope if that's what you want to do. If you have a jump rope, use it. It's gonna hop in place, really staying on those calves. Good calf exercise here. Really working the gastrox. Their heels aren't touching the floor. I don't want yours touching the floor. Hopping that jump rope, imaginary if you need it to be. Real if you want, and just keep hopping. We got 30 more seconds here. Keep it up. Don't quit at home. You're doing so good. We don't have much longer to go in this workout. Things are looking good. You'll be done with your entire workout. Cardio strength in just a few minutes. You got the rest of the day to watch TV. Come on. Three, two, one. Now, to really get it up on that bench, let's do some calf raises. They're really gonna be tired because we were just hopping on them. These are nice slow reps. Not, as, not quite as rapid as what we were doing, but we're really gonna work those gastrox, and that's okay. Reason being is these muscles are somewhat aerobic in nature, and that they have a very quick recovery period, like your abdominals, because you're on those calves a lot. So working them out this much isn't gonna bother. You're probably gonna feel a little bit of burn, but you really need to hit them hard to make it effective. We've got 30 more seconds just like this. I promise we'll get off our calves. We'll do some hopping up on the bench. In 13 seconds, keep it up. Eight, seven, your calves burning guys. Six, I hear them groaning back there. Three, two, one, down, shake it off. Get in the middle and let's hop right up on that again. Good. You can get fancy like they were doing. Jumping around. Again, you're pushing up. Whole foot on the ground, whole foot up. We want to take some of the emphasis off the calves because we just worked them for two minutes. So whole foot down, whole foot up. Keep it up at home. Nice safe landing. Flat foot right in the middle of that bench.
Five, four, three, two, one, relax. All right, good job. Pick up those bands. Get behind your bench. I want you to wrap them over the top of your feet, around the bottom and through the middle. You're gonna roll over on your back. Legs are gonna go up. You're gonna hold the handles towards your chest and just do a leg press. You see a machine like this all the time in the fitness centers. I'm gonna check their form. You guys keep going at home. Great compound exercise, good way to add resistance. They're pushing through, right through the bands. All the weight, all the resistance is right here. Good job, you guys feel that? Oh, they're feeling it, I know you're feeling it at home. Good job, keep this up. We got about another 30 seconds left here. Then right into cardio. I think we'll probably just jog in place. Legs are getting pretty tired. Great workout, we've got some abs to hit. And we gotta try to cool down a little bit. Keep it up for five, four, three, two, one. Up on those feet real quick and let's run in place. Come on, nice jog. Gonna come out of this, we're gonna work on our abs. You can get on the bench, we're gonna do some reverse curls. Hands are gonna go over our head. Hips are gonna come up off the bench. Great little ab workout. Then our cardio will start to bring it down just a little bit. So that way we don't end this with your heart rate up. Good. How we feel guys, so far so good. Hope you feel good at home. Hope you like this workout. It's intense, it's short, but what's great about it is it's very compact. Everything's done at once. Don't have to worry about it for the rest of the day. Excellent exercise when you're cramped for time as most of us are. Come on. Another 10 seconds. Three, two, one. Now, on that bench, as I said earlier, I want your hands over your head, and we're just gonna do a reverse curl. I like to do reverse curls when we're doing abs because we stay bent forward all the time, and our crunches are always forward. But we never go the opposite direction, which adds the greater intensity, that's that fit principle we're trying to manipulate. We're doing great. You guys got about another 15 seconds here. Things are looking good. Starting to cool down right after this. Three, two, one to our feet. Let's just march it in place. We wanna get that heart rate down, but we wanna keep doing some cardio. We don't wanna get it down completely. Come, on out, come out of this, more abs. This time, we're gonna do just regular crunches on the bench. Good. We're gonna do this for about 30 seconds because we really wanna get those ab work in. Keep it up for five, four, Three, two, one, on that bench, on your back. Regular crunches. I'm choosing very easy exercises to do. We all know how to do these. By now, you should know how to do them correctly. Chin stays out of the chest. Rib cage curls towards the hips. Very simple exercise movements. Simple but effective, right? That's what we like, guys. Good. Keep it up for five, four, three, two, one. Now follow my cue. I want one leg over the other. Let's do some obliques. We're just gonna finish out with our abs here. Really focus on that midsection. You're up and over. Bring that elbow to the knee. Don't bend that neck. Three, two, one, switch sides, up and over. I'm gonna check their form. You keep going at home. We're getting ready to head into a break. 
I want you to keep doing these abdominal movements, really bring our, our heart rate down because it's been up. We've been really intense exercise session. You've done good so far. Keep it up, no time to quit now, and we'll see you after the break. Hello, I'm Commander Dave Keblish, orthopedic surgeon and team physician here at the U.S. Naval Academy. I'd like to talk with you today about preventing knee injuries, specifically ACL tears. Now, most ACL tears occur when landing a jump, such as in basketball, or planting your foot to cut, such as in soccer. Both of these maneuvers are mechanically similar. Studies have shown that using good technique and avoiding risky movements on and off duty can really help prevent knee injuries. Remember, when you're landing from a jump, it's all about shock absorption. You want to land as soft as you can on two feet. Your toe should hit the ground first with a good knee bend and a good hip bend. Keep your knees and chest centered over the balls of your feet. Things to avoid when you're landing from a jump. Avoid locking your knees out. Avoid one-legged lands. Do not let your knees cave in. Don't land flat-footed and don't let your chest go past your knees. Additional exercises to help keep your knees safe include balance training, core strengthening, and plyometrics. Together, let's train smart and stay strong. As always, I'd like to thank my fitness team from the U.S. Air Force Honor Guard, Aaron and Jonathan. These guys made it happen. You made it happen at home. And you be sure to join us next time on Fit for Duty!